Romain, talk to us about this note from Morgan Stanley. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's basically making a very bullish call. And, you know, the, 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 frankly, he's not really alone on this. Uh, you know, quite a few analysts on Wall Street uh, have taken a much more bullish view, if, if that's even possible, of a lot of these big tech names. And a lot of it really has to do uh, with their market dominance and what a lot of these analysts perceive as their continued dominance. Uh, when they look at names like Amazon, they look at Alphabet, uh, a lot of what they're looking at is uh, what type of competition do these companies Companies really have now what type of competition are they really going to have uh, a couple of years down the road and they're also looking at the general market picture the idea that uh, there are still a lot of consumers that haven't really uh, embraced uh, these particular companies or these particular platforms and that uh, once those consumers sort of become a little bit more integrated into those uh, products and services uh, that that will benefit these companies even more Amazon shares have doubled over the last 12 months though you know are expectations too high? Well, I mean, it's funny, you know, you think about, you know, this stock, uh, you know, has, has doubled, as you said. Uh, you know, I was looking at the price targets for Amazon. I mean, you had at the start of the year a price target that was somewhere just below $1,300 a share. The price target going forward now is at about uh, almost $2,200 a share. Uh, and, you know, I, I looked at the data, and here's the thing you have to think about, Emily. A lot of people are basing these price targets on the revenue growth. And when you look at Amazon, annualized revenue growth for Amazon over the past, uh, you know, if you just take the beginning of the bull market back in 2009, it's running at somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, 40% or so. Uh, so when you think about, excuse me, the, the share price is running annualized uh, of about 40% or so, but the revenue growth is running at an annualized pace of around 30% or so. So the revenue growth is really kind of keeping pace uh, with a lot of the optimism that you have in the share. So, you know, it, if you break it down over a longer term trend, it's not as outrageous as I think it looks when you look at it maybe for just say a one year chart or a six or seven month year chart. Uh, there is a lot of reason uh, why analysts remain bullish and it is that revenue growth. Meantime, Bloomberg is reporting there's still a lot of short bets out there on the FANG stocks. Where are the shorts? concentrating their focus. Well, you've got sort of two sides to this coin. You have some of the shorts obviously going into some of the names that have seen troubles like Tesla, like Alibaba, like Facebook. Uh, but there, of course, they're also piling into Amazon and Apple. And a lot of that has to do with valuation. Look, when you're talking about Apple at $1 trillion, when you're talking about Amazon uh, just you know a, a breath away from being a $1 trillion, uh, market cap, it's understandable that you're going to get an increase in short positioning as well. Uh, that's just sort of normal. And I think it sort of goes with the flow. But when you look at sort of the ratio, like the short interest ratio to some of these companies and the growth uh, over the course of the year, it's really not as dramatic. In fact, for some of these companies, the short interest ratio has actually fallen. Uh, even for companies like Google, where it, uh, for Alphabet, where it has risen, it's risen, you know, some, something like less than 1% from where it was at the start of the year. So uh, people are being a little bit more cautious. But again, you still have this sort of fear of missing out, you know. Do you do you really want to be that 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 investor, that fund manager who jumped off uh, the boat uh, just as it was, it was really getting uh, to take another uh, to take another leg up?